Hi, I'm Deanna Springer. And I'm Dana Casey with another fun Stitch It Sisters sewing project and classic time-saving tip by Nancy Zeman. First, we'll look at the project we're making today. We're making our brand new fun fabric caddy from just two different fabrics, Riley Blake Designs, afternoon picnic fabrics, and a little Pellon shirt tailor. Pick up iced coffee for your coworkers or organize your sewing space with this fun fabric caddy. And the sewing couldn't be simpler with our easiest ever sewing techniques. To make our fun fabric caddy, we'll start by cutting some pattern pieces. So from the fun fabric caddy pattern, you'll trace and cut out from pattern paper the three pieces needed for the fabric caddy. And then we'll come back to that, but we're going to cut some fabric rectangles. We're going to cut two, a blue gingham, eight and a half by nine and a half inch fabric rectangles. And these will be for the center divider of the caddy. Okay. And we'll also cut two eight and a half by nine and a half inch, inch, excuse me, fusible interfacing rectangles. We'll cut two coordinating fabric pieces that are seven and a half by 20 inch, and you'll need the interfacing for that too. Everything is interfaced in this project so that it's a stand up caddy. Okay. Cut two interfacing from Pell and Shirt Taylor, seven and a half by 20, and you'll cut two interfacing and two fabric coordinates that measure eight and a half by 28. And all of those dimensions are included in the pattern as well. We'll start by pressing. We need to press that interfacing to the back of each of those pieces. So at the ironing board, you'll press the shirt tailor to the back of each of the, each of the fabric pieces. Take your time at the ironing board. This is uh, the important step. Don't rush this step. If you rush, you know what will happen. It either bubbles up, shifts, or doesn't <laughs> adhere. Right, and you, you want this nice and smooth. And the interfacing uh, stabilizes the fabric uh, and it's easier to sew with actually when you have the interfacing on the fabric. So get your interfacing fused to the back of every fabric rectangle. It's all super easy sewing with rectangles. A, a tip I learned from my dear friend Nancy she used a lot of uh, rectangle and square shapes when sewing projects, and it just makes it easy and, and fun. And probably quick, too. And quick. <laughs> so with our interfacing fused to the back of all the pieces, this, this is um, the uh, caddy uh, front and back. Okay. Simple rectangle, but your interfacing will be fused. You place the fabrics right side together, right sides together, and you stitch the short ends. So on this sample, the short ends are already stitched. And we'll turn this right side out. And this is easy to turn. This is Very. a big, big opening to turn. And then you'll go to the ironing board and you'll press those seams. So press seams flat and then press them open. Okay. This is the cat, this forms the caddy front back. Oh, okay. And it's also the bottom. The bottom too. Mm -hmm. We'll set that aside because the next piece we need to cut is the fabric side slash caddy handle. So you'll, your interfused fa interfaced fabrics will be placed right sides together and then we'll fold. And then we'll bring the fabric caddy pattern piece over to the folded fabrics. And you'll take time and you'll fold yours. Um, more accurately than I am. <laughs> but once you, you fold that fabric right sides together, you can see that fabric caddy pattern fits right on there. And we'll do some tracing. So trace with a chalk liner. Trace that pattern. And then you're going to cut that out. You're going to cut away that excess fabric. I'll hand that pattern back to you. Thank you. So with your scissors, Cut that out, and you now that top of that handle is on the fold. Okay, so it's so when, one big piece. Right, so when we sew this right sides together, all we're doing is sewing two seams. We're sewing the curved seams, and then you're going to turn this right side out. Okay. So you'll, you'll reach your hand in and turn that right side out and then press. And that forms the caddy handle 
and also the sides. So could you use some decorative stitching on the handle with some contrasting thread to add some pizzazz? You could get real creative and uh, add some trim even. Oh, sure. You could sure. add trim here. The next step is sewing, uh, uh, sewing this together to the, the front back, but we also need to make the dividers. Mm. The center dividers were those smaller rectangles we cut. Mm -hmm. It's interfaced and you sew with a quarter inch seam and then turn right side out. So our, our turning is getting smaller. It's not quite smaller a big tube. Smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. So turn that right side out, press at the ironing board, press that flat and, and you'll make two of them so you have center dividers. But we need to finish off the, the short edges, the ends. Okay. So I just turn under a quarter inch on both ends and then we'll have two center dividers. So we'll bring the caddy up that's in process and I'll show you how this goes together. It's a uh, simple square, uh, straight, straight seams mm -hmm. with squares and rectangles. So the first step would be to sew the handle to the side. And I'll have you hold this. Oops. <laughs> We're going to sew the side to the can handle, uh, caddy handle. And it's right sides together. And on the pattern piece, you'll mark the quarter inch dot. So there's a dot at every seam. Okay. And you'll stitch and you'll drop your needle. And then you'll turn and stitch another seam. Drop your needle, turn, and you'll stitch the final seam. So we can look here and see that I've sewn all the way down the side across the bottom and up. Oh, okay. And then the pattern will show you the placement for stitching the center dividers. So once you have it sewn together and the center dividers are in, we'll do some more turning. We'll turn it right sides out, right side out, and use that point-to-point -point turner from Clover to get in those corners and really get those sharp. The last step, I just couldn't pull it off at the sewing machine. I like to do as much sewing as I can <laughs> in the sewing machine. But you'll pin the center of the center divider together and you'll hand stitch that last step. Oh, okay. So you could use this in your sewing room to sort uh, fabrics or notions, or you could use it uh, on the go with some cool drinks and or maybe your sister will bring some coffees to work in the morning. Let's hope so. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the Stitch It Sisters project. You'll find this pattern along with a limited number of project bundle boxes at stitchitsisters.com. Be sure to tune in again for another Stitch It Sisters sewing adventure. In the meantime, connect with Stitch It Sisters and friends on our social sites. Stitch It Sisters is made possible by Clover, Pellon, and Schmetz Needles.